Okay, team, let's look at independent reading levels and how to promote fluency. And I just want to go back to these levels here again. Um, we said before, uh, a student, these are independent reading levels based off their accuracy. So these are always the calculation of accuracy where we, when we look at that formula, and let's look at it one more time. Let's take a quick peek at that calculation formula for accuracy. It's this one right here. So we're going to focus on this formula here. And it's always referenced as a percent. It's the percent of words the student reads correctly over the words that they attempted. So uh, we'll do very basic calculations. If they uh, there was 100 words that they were trying to attempt and they got 95% of them correct, then we would calculate that out as a percentage. There would be a 95% accuracy rate. Now, this is really important because what that establishes, if a student has a 95% accuracy, what that establishes is that that text that they're reading is a really good text to practice fluency. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're fluent, that they they have automaticity and that they're they're good to go. It just means that that's a text that they can practice uh, reading a text with the proper speed, accuracy, and expression. So they can work on all those different components of fluency. That would be a good choice for independent reading or or, or, or reading something out loud. Now, now I want to talk about this calculation. This ninety five percent. The things that accuracy doesn't show, um, which is a little misleading, is that a student could make several miscues and then self-correct them. So that student could could be, maybe they make 10 miscues, um, but they fix them. What would happen is those 10 miscues would be wiped out. So that would be like this. The student got really, made, uh, got 85 words correct. But they made 10 miss, but out of that 85 correct, there were 10 words that were wrong that were uh, that uh, they fixed. And if they fixed it, then that would add up to 95 over 100. So you would see 95% accuracy, but you wouldn't necessarily immediately see that the students still struggled with those 10 words. Even if they even if they self-corrected them, there were 10 mistakes where there was a pause and they had to think it over and then they had to keep reading. So, or fix it and then keep reading. So, so we want to be we want to understand how this is correct uh, calculated, and we also want to understand that when we see ninety five percent accuracy, um, it doesn't mean that they got ninety five percent of the words correct the first time they read them. It just means that after self correcting, they were able to get it up to ninety five. And what that means is that a student that is at that level in terms of you know accuracy, that student at this level here you know, is reading at an independent level for a uh, to practice fluency. So this would be a good text for them to read, to build up their, their, their fluency. This would be a good choice if you were doing some silent reading activities or if you were going to have, if they're going to be reading out loud, okay? They'd only be missing one out of every 20 words. 